Hey everyone, I'm your host, Evelyn Vaccaro for Real TV Films. Thanks for joining us. We're here at Fordham University in the Big Apple, waiting on the cast and crew from Hotel California, where in just a few moments they're going to join us on this red carpet so that we can get you the inside scoop on everything that's going down for the Latino Film Festival. Stick around. All right, guys, we're here with the star of Hotel California, Eric Palladino. Eric, it's so great to meet you. How are you doing these days? I'm good, I'm good. You know, especially being that I'm getting interviewed by like a fellow Yonkers girl. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, you are born and raised in Yonkers, correct? Born and raised, and guess what? We know each other from the yeah, neighborhood. Yes, we do know each other we from the neighborhood. We go back. I didn't realize that until, you know, five minutes ago, but yeah. Hello. Pete? Who's this? It's me. I'm in LA, man. Troy? What do you mean you're in LA? You didn't think I'd be gone forever, right? What do you say about getting together? Talk some business, what do you think? <laughs> so Eric, what was it like working on this film, Hotel California? You know, we shot it in LA. We shot it very quickly, it lasted three weeks. Um, you know, it was definitely a lot of hours uh, as far as, um, you know, I mean, we were shooting a lot of hours and then a lot of rewrites came in on the day. I mean, we were rewriting the script every day. It was really kind of work of, you know, passion for everyone that was involved. It's out. I got some news you might want to hear. Guess who's in town? Oh, it's been a while, huh, man? So, how long are you in town for? Indefinitely. Troy, what's going on, man? Gino, you're going to deliver a little message for me. Yeah, you're not going to do it, man. Uh, no, no, no. You know, it, it comes across on screen. The finished product's pretty good. It's a revenge movie. I play kind of like a young, you know, Scarface kind of character that's coming back to Los Angeles to get revenge on his, you know, fellow uh, drug dealers. Why'd you do it, Troy? Would you just snap or what? You think Dimitri knows? Knows what? Knows I'm here. Uh, believe me, if Dimitri knew you were here, you already know. Find him. Pull this down once before. I'm not gonna let you do it again. You still think I took the money? Is that what you're saying? What are you doing? I'm looking for your boyfriend. <laughs> you know, it's it's a revenge flick, but it's not just like a shoot 'em up kind of violent movie. Although it is violent, um, but uh, you know, it, it, there's aspects to it that's you know about the human condition and when someone feels betrayed and uh, how they uh, you know go about taking care of business from right. that perspective. I am searching for Troy, and it is imperative that I find him. What do you think he's going to do if he finds out you're back in town, huh? You know, I've been on the run for 18 months. I'm done running from Dimitri. Who's that? Dimitri. Now, this is no longer a secret anymore, but I did read about this. The LAPD mistook those prop yeah. weapons for real guns, and did yeah. they actually arrest you? <laughs> yeah, they didn't arrest me, but uh, they, um, <laughs> they, they asked me, uh, you know, they, they, they pointed their guns, their weapons at me, um, and they, they mistook a, a prop gun for a real gun as I was walking down the street to L.A. We were shooting in a bad neighborhood. For all the same, never change, only blood At the time, they they thought I was a, I had a real gun, and five cop cars pulled up with their weapons, you know, pointed at me. And uh, oh. Al, why in such a hurry to get out of here? More importantly, what makes you think I'm gonna let you get out of here? And so, uh, you know, I almost got arrested. Poor the poor PA standing next to me. He's the one who got uh, he's the one who got handcuffed. Oh, <laughs> like, you know, no. uh, I got away with it. The actors get away with everything. Well, if that's any indication of what the film was like, you guys did a good job. Yeah, yeah, I think we did. I think it turned out pretty. <laughs> You know what I found out recently about Yonkers, and I didn't know this, because this is how uncool I am, <laughs> but uh, that Yonkers, like I, recently a guy said, oh, I said it was from Yonkers, and a young kid, he's like 20 years old, he goes, you're from the Y.O.? And I was like, what's the Y.O.? And he's like, Yonkers, man. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it didn't sound that cool when I was growing up, but yeah, I guess I'm from the Y.O. The Y.O. <laughs> the Y.O. They call it the hip hop kids call it the Y.O. now. I don't even know that. Yeah, see? Yeah, now, you went to Stepanek High School. I went, I went to Our Lady of Victory Academy, but we had the same friends growing up. Of course up. you it went to Victory. Cool. Uh, well, of course I did. I you know. You know what kind of girls went to Victory? Good girls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, well, it's so great to talk to you. So great to meet up with you again after all these years. I know, I know. And all the best to you. You're doing wonderful representing the Y.O. Y.O. Take care, Rick. Bye-bye. And that's what this grind consists of Sweet as Alice A before that Remy get mixed up I'm never confused, it ain't nothing to a hood like me Lead a hood and come home and be chill like me And I'm falling from the sky And the devil he calling Don't know why, I'm never confused Take a look to my eyes, stare deep in my soul So you can feel the sigh, feel the sigh And the demons keep calling for me, Lord I know they're trying to eat me alive it Sort of feels like I'm falling from the sky it Sort of feels like I'm falling, can't get out it Sort of feels like I'm falling, don't know why